In this video, I want to discuss some of the basics of editing a news article. When we get into editing, and the article's been written, but, but it needs to be, you know, really crafted and made sure everything's correct in it and, and putting forth the best possible product. How do we go about doing that as an editor? So we're just going to cover some of the basics in this video. Uh, so starting with the editing basics, uh, first things first, we need to read the entire thing once. You know, there's that old expression, you miss the forest for the trees. It's very easy when we get started editing a news article to get in the first sentence and say, well, there's a spelling mistake or there's an AP error or there's, you know, whatever. Uh, really, I mean, we, we can note that in our mind or whatever, but we really need to read the entire article through once so that we have a really good idea of, especially if it's not our article, if we're editing for somebody else, but even if it is ours, so we have a good idea of what the whole picture is. So that we're seeing the entire forest before we get into evaluating the individual trees. So first things first, read through the entire article once without stopping to, to correct everything or restructure everything. Just read through the entire thing once so that we know exactly what we have there in that product. Secondly, then we can go back after we've read the entire thing once and say, okay, does this structure make sense? Are we getting everything we need out of the article? Is the main stuff up front? Uh, you know, is the who, what, why, when, and where, and how, is that up front, and are they getting the appropriate details? Does this flow well? Uh, does it make sense the way they have it structured? That's that's number two. We can look at the overall structure of the article. Then we're going to get really into the trees instead of looking at the forest and start looking for AP style and, and making sure that, that everything follows AP style, which is a little different than APA or MLA or things like that. So we want to make sure everything conforms to AP style and then make sure that we have all the correct grammar in there. Of course, spelling is correct. Punctuation is correct. All the mechanics are correct. We're using the right, the right words, you know, common mistakes like your and your or affect and effect and things like that. Uh, we want to check all of that and get into, you know, really nitty gritty, really then doing the opposite. We're not looking at the forest. We're looking specifically at the trees to make sure every little detail is correct there. So we need to check the AP style and check the grammar then. Then we want to do a fact check as well. We want to make sure that, you know, we're looking at things like dollar amounts, dates, names, titles, all of these types of details. And are they correct? Do they have the right thing? They're, you know, do they have, uh, is, is everything accurate? Did they get everything reported the way it should be? And, and that's incredibly important, not only uh, for the, um, the, the, the knowledge of the audience and things, but also for the credibility of the reporter and for the publication and, and everything else. So we want to make sure that we have all of our facts uh, correct and lined up and in order, double check all of those things and, and make sure all of those things line up. Then finally, start thinking about, okay, is there anything here that's going to get me sued? Is there anything libelous? Is there anything uh, that's going to, uh, you know, be inappropriate? Have, have I have I found, you know, double or triple sourced corroboration for all these details? <clears throat> Am I using information that's, that's definitely on the record and wasn't given to me in confidence for not for use or whatever? Am I, am I following those kind of, you know, journalistic ethical guidelines? And, uh, you know, is there anything here that's going to get me sued or is really going to, you know, put me in hot water as a, as a reporter or as a publication or anything like that? You know, think in, in those terms, you know. Um, it's not to say we should shy away from tough subjects and things, but... You know, the more sensitive something is, the, the more important it is that we have these things you know, double and triple checked and we have corroboration from multiple sources and that we, you know, have, have checked these things in multiple ways to make sure that, that we are reporting uh, on rock solid ground. So we want to make sure we don't do this out of fear. We do this out of, out of you know, making sure that, again, we have the confidence of the public and that, that, that we have the credibility to report these types of things and other things in the future. So. So it's important to think about those things as we're going through the editing process. Okay? So that's, I mean, that's a very basic rundown, but those are the basic things you're going to be looking for as an editor. Now, as an editor, you know, when we do these assignments, we do these projects and classes and things, sometimes you have multiple days to do these things and you have, you know, a lot of time to go through and review all these things. But oftentimes, as an, you know, when you're editing something in real life, in the real world, you may be up against a clock. You may be editing against the clock. You may have to hurry. This may be something that needs to be done right now as soon as possible so that we can get it out there so that we don't you know miss that moment when it's important and so we don't get scooped by somebody else so these things are all still important but 
we're editing against the clock. So we may need to run kind of a stripped down version of all this. So we're doing that. Still, you want to read through the whole thing first. Even if you're editing against the clock, you need to have that whole picture. You need to see the forest instead of the trees at first so that you have an idea of what this, this whole thing is about. So you read the whole thing first, then you identify the lead. Is it clear? Do I do it again? Do I have the who, what, why, when, where, and how? Uh, it's clearly identified right up front. You know, identify the lead of the story. Make sure that that story has a lead. If it doesn't, put one in there. Uh, also, again, we want to check against AP style. We want to make sure that it that conforms to the format of AP styling and, and, and grammar and all those types of things as well. But, but definitely check that against the AP style book. And then finally, if it's broke, fix it. Don't be afraid to go back and rewrite. Look at things again. I mean, if it's fine, it's fine. But if, it, if there's something there that doesn't make sense, a sentence needs rewarded, a portion of the story that needs to be reconfigured, then you need to do that. Okay. Don't be afraid to rewrite, even under these circumstances. So uh, that the process is always, you know, write, rewrite, and repeat uh, until you get it. Until you get it right. Once it's right, push it out there. Okay. Now again, there are all kinds of great checklists out there for editing, and, and there are lots of ways to do this in a more detailed format. All I want to do here is give you the overview and some of the basics, so that we understand you know, just kind of the general basics of what goes into editing, um, and then. It will, there are lots of resources out there, checklists and things like that, that will provide a much greater detailed, in-depth uh, you know, opportunity for you to look at an article, a way to look at an article. And so I encourage you to go find those things. In the meantime, if you have any questions about, about editing or about anything to do with digital journalism, feel free to email me. I'm always happy to respond to emails and look forward to receiving those emails. Uh, so in the meantime, let's go out there, make some great articles, edit some great articles, and push forth the best content we can for our public.